What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we're doing another experiment on Madden 21 and today we are going to be seeing if a team of all the best players that are 25 or under 25 years old in the NFL could win the Super Bowl. The team is a 91 overall, 88 offense, 95 defense and of course it is the best team in the league but not by that many overalls but more importantly it's a team that's never played on the same team before. Obviously young players but we took the sliders and turn them to 50 for XP because I don't want them to get just too good. Obviously, they would just be super OP. But without any further ado, we're going to go take a look at the squad and uh, some of the players in their, their backups. Trey Lance wasn't supposed to be here. He's not the best rookie, in my opinion. He just, we chose the Niners. Probably should have chose the Buccaneers looking back at this. But the Niners, it's the Niners. When I think, that, here's the thing the Buccaneers are a good team and they're very young. They got a lot of really good young players. But when I think of like best young team, I think of the Niners. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, it's just me. Maybe not under 25 young, but best young squad in my opinion. Like, they're they're probably one of the best. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below if, for one, you have an idea similar to this. Maybe you'd like to see, like, a an over 30 years old squad, which I, I'm trying to think. Would that be higher or lower overall? Probably about the same, right? Or maybe a certain age. I don't know. Or a certain college. I don't know. Whatever uh, let me know in the comment section below, and also, if there's any snubs, because there's probably going to be a few snubs, you're going to be like, oh, well, clearly, uh, you know, this guy who's a 16 overall is is the best quarterback, uh, better than Lamar Jackson, uh, so let me know in the comment section below with that as well, and then, you know, maybe leave a like and subscribe if you like franchise, we're doing a ton more franchise until Madden 22, and then once Madden 22 comes out, we will be doing even more there, so of course... Without a doubt, Lamar Jackson is the guy. Josh Allen, I believe, is 25, or he's going to be 25 before the season starts. One of the two, but Lamar Jackson's the guy. Kyler Murray is number two. Could have had Herbert as number three, or even number two A, B, you know, one of the two. But I think this is a very fair quarterback room. As far as running back goes, Josh Jacobs, 90 overall. But assuming Saquon comes back healthy and strong... I'm going to put him as our number one running back. I think he's probably the best running back under 25. And then Jonathan Taylor, a lot of people have him as, uh, you know, their fantasy sleeper. I wouldn't even say sleeper anymore. But uh, as a very high potential guy, obviously. Fullback, this is the guy that technically, I believe, is either 25 or will be 25 in uh, September. But realistically, the young fullbacks aren't that great. In general, fullbacks aren't really loved at all. Uh, as far as wide receiver, a lot of guys to choose from, and this is probably where everyone would be like, well, you snubbed this guy and that guy. Fair enough, probably, but we got the main names. Metcalf, Jefferson, A.J. Brown, D.J. Moore. Brandon Ayuk was already here, but I was like, you know what? I'll just keep him on the list. And then Deontay Harris, uh, a return man guru, and obviously a pretty damn decent uh, slot gadget type receiver that the Saints probably will be using a lot in 2021. As far as tight ends go, Hawkinson, and Noah Fance. Left tackle, Makai Becton with Wills as the backup. Left guard on Wenu with James Daniels as the backup. Eric McCoy is the center for sure with a guy that clearly isn't a part of this as the backup. Chris Lindstrom, the right guard with Damian Lewis as a backup. And then uh, probably the best lineman from the rookie class, at least year one performing wise, Tristan Wirfs. Obviously, it helps playing for the Buccaneers with that insane team already, but... Still really, really good rookie year for him. Chase Young, we're going to have over Brian Burns as a left end because I think he is just better. At least he's played better and he's younger technically. You know, he hasn't played as much. Definitely a little bit better than Brian Burns in my opinion, but Brian Burns on the list with Josh Allen. Then you have Nick Bose on the right end spot, which is obviously makes a lot of sense. DT Duran Payne with Williams, Jeffrey Simmons, and then Kinlaw as the backups. Left outside linebacker had to put Roquan in there. With Greenlaw just sitting there, because once again, it's the Niners. Middle linebacker, obviously Fred Warner. He's debatably the best coverage linebacker in the league, let alone, uh, you know, youngster. And then Devin White, who obviously uh, had a really good year this year. Big, big reason for the success that the Buccaneers had. And and honestly, you you know take away him or Levante, you maybe argue, were they good enough to win the Super Bowl? That's how freaking important those two guys were running around all the time, seemingly in the right place at the right time at all times. Cornerbacks, you see a couple more. Buccaneers guys, you could probably put all three there, but Jair at number one with Denzel Ward at number two, and then Sneed at number three, as I think he was the better performer than these guys, but obviously the Buccaneers have themselves some nice stud corners 
Free safety, Jesse Bates with Marcus Williams as the backup. Marcus Williams, a very solid player, even if people want to meme him over the you know Minnesota miracle. If you want to call it a miracle, I call it a guy trying not to get flagged by the, the NFL's little flag football rules of uh, hitting a defenseless receiver. Nick Fitzpatrick as the starting strong safety. Darnell Savage, actually a very good performer. I'm not even trying to be biased as a Packers fan. A very, very solid safety that just has not gotten has not gotten the uh, respect from EA yet, which is really, really sad. Uh, Rodrigo Blankenship, there's a couple of guys he could have made the argument for, but I think as far as a meme goes, he deserves it. And then Jack Fox, probably the best punter out of the under-25 squad. There's a couple other guys, like the you know the Patriots guy and whatnot, but that's the squad I'm putting out here on the field, and let's see what happens. What do you guys think is going to happen? I think... 11 and 5. All right, head to the postseason. Let's see it. Maybe I should have just kept all the sliders at 100 or something. A 12 and 4 season. I looked at midseason. We were like 7 and 1, so we must have lost some games in between here. And we lost the last two. Obviously, didn't really lose that many games in general. Let's take a look at how the season went. Quarterbacking Lamar Jackson with the number one touchdowns, number three in passer rating, top five probably in completion percentage, and just under 4,000 yards. Obviously, a very good rushing season as well with Barkley. And Jacobs kind of, you know, splitting the back, uh, you know, the backup carries and all that. Uh, Jonathan Taylor really didn't play that many snaps, but he was as well pretty decent. Metcalf, a lot of touchdowns. Really weird to see Hawkinson with like 700 yards or less than 700. He's like the fourth uh, highest yard guy, but yet he's the number two in touchdowns. Uh, A.J. Brown and Jefferson really didn't get their chances too much. As far as sacks go, really good performances actually. And then looking at the defensive stats, nine and a half sacks for Bosa, seven for Young. Really not much for the defense, which is kind of surprising. Hey, Sneed, my guy, I told you. Five interceptions, obviously also a pretty damn good return man. Uh, but yeah, uh, thought the defense would have done better than that. You obviously seen the overalls, you know, they were like seven higher than the offense. Blankenship was kind of meh. Jack Fox, pretty average. And then return game. No touchdowns, really. No touchdowns. Gilly Awards. Baker at number one. Lamar at number two. That's a scam. But he does get the NFC nod. No Rookie of the Year award. Best quarterback. Best offensive player of the year. A couple of awards are very close on, but no dice. But here we are getting the bye week for the wild card round. Headed to the divisional round against the Seattle Seahawks. Did they take? I don't think we took any of their players, right? Uh, maybe uh, a lineman. In Metcalf. Perfect weather here, except for real life where it's raining by me. And let me tell you, I love a good rainy storm shower. That's the one. Let's take a look at the end of the game. Three to zero. Of course, division rivals as well. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Got the touchdown, but missed the extra point. So Blankenship, clearly not the right choice here as he is just, I mean, he missed four out of 13. He missed an extra point in this one. And some pretty big misses this season. 26 to 13, 26 to 16. Touchdown calls it, and it's not a touchdown, so the game's still open. Like we said, what is happening? And he throws a pick. The biggest choke job in history. Move aside. Move aside, Atlanta. The under 25 squad has created the biggest choke of all time. Atlanta fans are like, please stop. Stop it. But yeah, that is the biggest choke hands down you throw game losing picks when Saquon Barkley is absolutely crushing the opposing team what a choke job and I mean that extra point where the hell was it he missed it did we, did we go for two maybe it wasn't actually I'm sorry Rodrigo I'm sorry I like your glasses they're cute <laughs> that is unfortunate how in the world do we lose to a team what was their overall again it couldn't have been that good it surely could not have been that good. Uh, where are we? 93, even with the XP on 50%. And then Seattle with an 81. Oh my, I should have. I should not have allowed that to happen. Can you actually change that real quick? I'm just, I'm just saying. You can't. Re can you reset the rolls? Damn it, you can't. That's kind of scummy, isn't it? Like, was it the game glitches? And you want, I don't know. But of course, it's at the Super Bowl. See who wins this thing. The winner of the Super Bowl is going to be between the Saints and Chiefs, so not even the Seahawks, who looked like they were going to have it all if they could beat this squad. And the Chiefs win it all. Let's take a look at that squad after that one-year uh, you know, god-tier season. Barkley was already X-Factor. Yes, he was. Metcalf, I think, was superstar, right? 
He was superstar. No DevOps on offense. A little surprise there. Uh, Roquan, I believe, was only star. Gets to superstar. And to my knowledge, that would be the only DevOps. So just based on DevOps, based on the fact that we lost to an 81 overall team, I mean, it, they don't seem that great. They don't seem that great. Obviously, you know, it would be sick to have a team like this, uh, except for the contracts. Obviously, once you get to contracts, you, I mean, this is the most expensive team going. Obviously, you know, high overall rookies or youngsters, it's it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough because you're obviously going to have to pay them top dollar. But, yeah, that's going to be the result of the under-25 team. There was a lot of guys that got snubbed because they just turned 25 or they're barely 25 Maybe there's some guys I snubbed in general because I messed up their birthdays or, you know, some guys who shouldn't have been on this list. Let me know in the comment section below who you would like to see. You think I snubbed them, and I'll respond to you and let you know how wrong you are. <laughs> it's going to be some really obvious one, like the one where we did the the Jones video, and I just, I only forgot Chris Jones. You know, just one of the, you know, that's just a, a really big name. <laughs> But yeah, I should have another video today, uh, Bulldogs probably, because, you know, the stats and awards, not that many people watch in general, and if you're fiending for it, it's not really going to get you going, right? So we're going to do Bulldogs. Tomorrow we will be doing a speed rebuild and Rams franchise, and then a stream on twitch.tv slash Care. Monday, you know, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Monday should be a Steel Superstar series uh, upload, and then maybe a second channel on PKR plays, second channel upload, obviously, but uh, obviously lots still to come. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, all those other things. You know, the follow, the Twitter, and nobody cares. I can show care plays, twitch.tv, nobody cares, all that stuff. Means a ton to me. Means a ton to me in general that you're just watching. Means a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, hopefully you guys come back for next video. And hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend. But until next video, see ya!